we'll then do some questions. But okay. let's, uh, they're, not, they're, they're not exactly top secrets. They're things that we were filming um, that just aren't out yet, so I'm going to play them. Okay, Lady Ada, what is this? Hey, I'm showing off how I'm testing this high-power buck converter. This is a 5 to 3 volt buck converter that can do like 2 amp plus. And you're probably wondering, well, how do you know that it actually works at 2 amps? Well, I've got this whole testing rig to test it with. So let's look at everything. Over here, I've got a power supply. And this is what's supplying the 5 volts. And I can see the current going in. So this is my uh, voltage source. And then over here, I've got a programmable load. And this is really cool because I can actually dial in how much current, and this is in amps, I want to draw. And then I can like programmatically change the load. And then on my oscilloscope, you can see here, as I turn up the current, you see the voltage starts to drop until it reaches about two and a half amps and it totally plummets. So now I know it can go up to 2.8 amps. Kelly, okay, Dana, what is this? Hey, I'm testing out this kind of cool, like diffused, like milky white NeoPixel strip. I think it has a cool pastel look to it. I'm always interested in new ways that companies are making NeoPixel strips. So this one's kind of nice, and you see when I uh, I depower it, it's like a milky white color. So this will be coming to the Adafruit shop soon. Really interesting LED strip. Okay, and you have a top secret I that I haven't seen, so let's uh, check it out. Whew. All right, first up, we've got a sample of this Raspberry Pi Pico pin reference card that we'll uh, be having in the store. Maybe we'll include it as part of a pack or something. Very handy. Phil B made this beautiful art of all the pins and their functionalities with a, uh, a nice uh, legend up here. Nice work. And on the back, a Circuit Python quick start. So um, how to install Circuit Python, some tips on usage, and then you know the basic uh, blink and print hello world demo uh, to get people started just because it's like once you got this, you can pretty much uh, take it from here. So that's the first. It's not out yet. Don't ask. Although, you know, honestly, um, this is the same image that's on the product page. So just go to the product page for the Pico and you can download this and print it yourself. And next up, ooh, what could it be? What do you think it is? Well, it looks like a cutie pie. Yeah? But it's a special kind of cutie pie. It's a cutie pie 2040. Yeah. With a Raspberry Pi RP2040 on the bottom, crystal uh flash memory um and uh all the capacitors you need and all the there's two buttons on the top there's a boot button and a reset button and a little neopixel um people love that uh usb c um stemma qt connector and here's a, a bonus the stemma qt i squared c port is not the same one as this one so you actually get two extra pins so you can have like twice as many i squared c devices um, you can use the breadboard I squared C, or you can use the STEM QT. So you get like a total of, let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 13 GPIO. Okay. Very cute. And with that is uh, Top Secret for this week.